All right, a lot of excitement here heading to uh, Election Day uh, a week from now. And um, I see you're going to be uh, focused uh, on the election in a big way uh, on Thursday. Uh, you have a big event, right? Uh, uh, the 2024 Election Trading Summit. Uh, tell us more about that. Well, yeah, we're lucky enough, and thank you for mentioning. Um, we've got uh, Grant Cardone, who was one of the people on stage with President Trump in New York uh, at Madison Square Garden. We've got Grant Cardone, one of our business partners now, coming on. Uh, myself, my brother Pete, Mark Lepresti, we're all going to be there basically offering strategies um, for both candidates, um, which ones would benefit if indeed Ms. Harris was to pull a rabbit out of the hat, um, and which ones would benefit if uh, former President Trump continues his winning ways and holds on to this big lead that he's built up. So that'll be a great thing, I think. We'll be able to talk about the best uh, digital asset ways to play that, for instance, with some call spreads and so forth, for MicroStrategy, for Coinbase, for many of these stocks that benefit from higher Bitcoin prices without actually having to go out and hold a wallet or trade into an ETF. All right. How can people register for that and get more information about that? Um, they could just go to marketrebellion.com forward slash register. That's just the name of our firm, marketrebellion.com forward slash register. It would give them free access, no credit card or anything else, for the 31st for Halloween at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And we will also send them a free copy of the video of that presentation. So even if they can't attend, I realize it's only 1 o'clock out in California when that occurs. But we'll send them a copy of it so that they can watch it at their leisure anytime. Right. Of course, 1 o'clock here in Los Angeles is the time the, the market closes back east. So 1 o'clock is certainly well known to this audience, that's for sure, especially uh, with your event coming up here on uh, Thursday the 31st. So uh, marketrebellion.com slash register. And, and, um, and John and Jerry, before we let you off the hook here, a uh, lot of focus of attention on these, uh, these betting markets. Um, uh, I guess uh, one of the big platforms recently announced that they were going to allow um, some uh, trading uh, related to, to the election. What's your guidance uh, on, on, those, uh, on those possibilities? Well, I think that um, Robin Hood has made that announcement, um, yep. and it's interesting to see whether or not they hold on to that. In the past, uh, predictive markets like Poly Market and like Predict um, have not had that kind of exposure to the public on a uh, uh, investment basis. In other words, they haven't been their brokerage firm, if you will. Um, so this is interesting that they're venturing into that space. I think it's a little late for them to get much in the way of volume there. But again, uh, it's, a, it's a big market. So the more people that get into it, the better. Interesting. Betting markets, that is very interesting. And before we let you off the hook uh, with this big jump in Bitcoin today, uh, now uh, a lot of talk about where uh, Bitcoin might go from here. What are your thoughts about where, uh, where the price of Bitcoin uh, goes from here? Well, I really do think that we're going to see 100000 now. I had said 85000 this year. Now I'm thinking we might even close the year closer to a hundred. Again, because if President Trump um, is reelected and he enacts this uh, Bitcoin strategic reserve, if you will, I think that's one more thing that lifts those uh, Bitcoins, those digital assets significantly higher. But that's not to say that, uh, you know, that's from 72,000, like you said, to 100. That's a great move. It's $28,000. But I could show you a lot of stocks that I might rather trade to make that $28,000 move rather than getting into Bitcoin at 72. And by the way, the Nasdaq's at a record high. We didn't even get a chance to talk about that yet. NVIDIA moving higher to 141 and change. Uh, we had uh, Alphabet uh, Google earnings uh, after the bell. Uh, that stock's up about uh, 6%. Um, what are your thoughts about this uh, big move uh, among the tech names here? Well, I love it. Um, and we're going to have Apple, of course, as you've said, and Meta. Meta tomorrow. Apple, I believe, on Thursday. And this is a great time to be in those assets. Um, earnings. Uh, now, it'll be interesting to see how well and how fast people have come to embrace the iPhone 16. Allegedly, it had rather a slow rollout. 
Uh, and this will only be a very small taste of that because of course they just rolled them out. So it won't be a, a true look at how it's doing, but they'll give us some guidance perhaps. And that'll be interesting. So I'd say Meta, I like it. Apple, I like it. And I own both. And any other specific places where you are putting money now and or taking it off the table? Well, um, today we saw more cash flowing back into uh, Slumberger, S-L-B, Sierra Lima Boy. And that one is interesting to me because basically it's oil field service. It's, you know, getting uh, energy back up out of the ground and delivered to the people that refine it and so forth. They're not a refiner, but they get it. They help get it out of the ground. I think that is another stock that benefits under a President Trump administration. So we were seeing big institutional interest in that name today. All right. And any other uh, thoughts uh, on options? Since you're the expert, uh, you and your brother Pete are experts uh, on options with your latest book. It's not an option. Um, any uh, any thoughts about what's happening, uh, where the action is with the options? Well, th- there's an awful lot right now in MicroStrategy and in Coinbase bets into next year. And again, I think anything past next week is a bet on either President Trump or if it was health care or some such, I'd say uh, Kamala Harris. But right now it seems like all of the big institutions are betting on Trump. Um, and so Coinbase, COIN, and of course, MicroStrategy benefiting from that as big lots of options are trading in both those two stocks, upside call buying. Fantastic, John. Thank you very much for taking the call this afternoon on this big day. We do appreciate it and look forward to speaking with you again very soon. That is Dr. J. John Dejarian, a big uh, name here, co-founder of Market Rebellion, co-author with his brother Peter, their latest book, It's Not an Option, and they're also hosting that free election trading special this Thursday, October 31st. And if you want to register for that, that's uh, marketrebellion.com slash register. John, thank you very much uh, for joining us live here this afternoon. You're a prince. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody. Back at you. Thank you very much, John. And out to the freeways now, 790 KBC.